Tom, how's that for a headline? Can you wax a convertible top? Yeah, so just to clarify, because we just did a video and you were showing us how to use your product. So w this is a Ferrari. It's got a convertible top. What kind of top is okay. this? Really special top. This is called a Flying Buttress Hearts Cloth Ferrari Top. Wow, that's a mouthful. Yeah. Okay. Very, very expensive. Yes. Very expensive. In my world, I call this with what I call a canvas top versus a vinyl top versus now what they have hard tops, which just looks like it's just painted hard top and retracts. So this is what I call canvas top. And in my head, it's porous. Yep. And in my head, it means special things. So I'm going to approach a canvas top differently than I am a vinyl top. So you introduced something to me that blew my mind yet again. <laughs> and because you have developed this product line and this is just common knowledge to you, but here I continue to, to tease out more information from you, which is, okay, would you use a wax? Would you put your wax on this top? No. I wouldn't either. But what you show me is like, hey, Darren, that detailer works awesome on this. It's like, no way, Tom. Dude, there's no this. way. We got that little fly poop or whatever that uh, is. Actually, bee in my pollen. world, I call it uh, bee pollen. Is that what it is? Yes. Bee but, it, you know, it lands it's everywhere. Yeah, here in Cal, see, I don't know if they get it. I'm assuming bees, they're worldwide. I'm assuming they get it. But it shows up as a little yellowish, brownish dot if it's hit at an angle. And this is where, like, blood splatter analysis would come in if I was a blood splatter analysis. So vertically it would hit and it would create a little line, but typically it's just gonna be a, a nice brown, yellowish little dot. Yeah. So we got one going on. Let me zoom in. But the, the, what I want to illustrate in this moment, Tom, specifically, is once again, every one of your products has so much versatility to it and it blows my mind because here we are again today and you're showing me one more thing that this product can do. So well, go for it. You know, in a body shop, uh, as a body shop owner, I don't want to have to buy a bunch of products. So that was the whole idea of developing this is, and it wasn't just me. It was like, we sit down with a group of people and say, this is what I want this product to do because I don't want to have to go reach for a hundred different products. Right. So now we've, it has the proper chemistry. You've shown them how to do it on glass. Yes. And on hard I've cloth. also shown them uh, how to do it on car leather. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I know the camera's not going to capture this because in the process of polishing that, we have accumulated a little bit of dust in the process. Mm -hmm. So that's where I thought, even though it won't pick up on camera, the, the real unique factor is like, wow, a quick detailer on a canvas top. I mean, that, that goes counter to what we've all been taught. So let's- This is such a clean product that it's not going to leave any residue behind and it will clean off a lot of this that you know we normally get in a body shop you know yeah it just it so still confuses my brain my little brain wants to wrap and, and and i'm not a chemist so i don't understand chemistry like you do but the point is is you can do it so let's see you do it yeah i would be if, if i came out saw an employee doing that i'd be like dude what are you thinking you don't spray that on a canvas top but here you are and it's, it's nice and clean everything just See out right there, off, what the fuzz comes off. if I was watching this in viewer land, I'd be like, oh yeah, sh let's come back in an hour and let's see what that top looks like. But you, you've developed these products. You meaning, the last thing you want to do is have to buy a new top for a, a Ferrari owner, right? What would a new top like this cost? Ten grand. Okay, I know I don't want to buy a new top. So you've already verified this. So I'm not going to play this whole charade of like, oh, let's come back five days later. I'm just. Meaning, everything that you've told me that your product line does, it does. I've never done that. But because you have a perfect track record, then I'm going to, I don't have to play that game of like, oh, let's come back in five days and let's see if it hasn't hazed up like uh, staining traditional paste waxes would do. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not a wax, that's a detailer. It has no wax in no, it. No wax. Okay. And, and yet here we are, talk about versatility. Once again, Q7 detailer. From a traditional detailer for paint, chrome, glass. Now, my rule is that I don't spray it directly on glass, but I will spray it directly onto a paint. Sure. So you can either spray it directly on paint. Tom, I think you recommend you go with the cloth then to the paint as a rule. I do. Only okay. because of the touch time in a body shop, you're not getting paid 
as a rule, to detail a car in a body yeah. shop. What's a body shop doing detailing cars? Right. That's not what a body shop's for. Yeah. So, if I'm teaching a guy, okay, I'm gonna, I need you to wipe this panel off. And if they go like this, I said, okay, now I just asked you to wipe yeah. the panel off. Who I know exactly where you're going. Yes. Now who's gonna wipe that? Who's gonna clean this yeah. up? You yeah. do. Yeah. And guess what? That's gonna take more time, right. which I'm not paying you right. or I'm not charging the customer to do. Yeah. So, so that's where I, I just simply say, that's how you manage your product better is you spray it on the cloth. You don't spray it on here because you have seams, you have nuances that that liquid will shoot into. Cause I tell guys when I'm training them, never shoot liquid into an area that you can't get to because in the right lighting, you're gonna see it. So if you need absolute control in that moment, you spray the cloth, not the surface. And on the top, it's, it's really impossible to spray enough product on the rag and wipe it off. So I do spray it directly on Hart's cloth. The only other option is to put a hose on this. Yeah. Now, no, no, I'm not gonna trust the employee of putting a hose on a hearts cloth top. Yeah. You're gonna go through into the leather and now I'm buying a complete car. Really, all you're illustrating is, is that what I say is that there's rules, but that there's always exceptions to the rule. So in this moment, that's the exception, which is trade-offs. So yeah, you could saturate the cloth enough and get it to work, but that's the trade-off is that you're gonna get a little bit of overspray in your paint. And that's where you, as you gain experience, you're gonna have to recognize that there is certain steps that you wanna do first so that you, you, you engineer redundancy out of the equation. What do I mean by that? Meaning, okay, if I have now just finished my paint to perfection and then I say, oops, I forgot about the top. I'm not gonna spray the top unless it's a requirement. In this case, it's not a requirement, so I'm gonna spray the cloth so that I don't have to redo my paint because I forgot, like, wait a minute, Darren, okay, I, I polish the paint, it looks how I want. Now I'm gonna go further into the detailing process. I gotta get the top out of the way before I actually wax the paint. So there is proper steps so that you are not being redundant. You're not, over, you're not having to redo steps, which is gonna waste you time and make you less profitable. So in this case, it's just simply about trade-offs. Okay, so once again, Q7, versatility blows my mind. I, even at this age, I'm still learning stuff and I love it. So thanks for tuning in guys. Hope you've learned something and by all means, give me a comment. I wanna see if there's other products that you guys have used on this. See, I, would, I don't even know that term. What did you call this top? Um, the Flying Brutress? No, I understand. Heart's Cloth. Heart's Cloth. Heart's cloth. Yeah, this is, an is that with a T cloth. or a D? Heart. Um, H As in like your beating heart. heart. No, but it's H-A-R-T. Right, okay. Heart. Like heart, heart to heart. heart. Remember that show yeah, from like back in the heart. 70s? Yep. Yeah. Heart's cloth. We just dated ourselves. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so heart's cloth. In my world, I didn't even know what was, that was called. I just called it a canvas top. So hopefully you guys have learned a little something. But let us know your thoughts. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe all means. And we'll see you on the next video.